Hey guys, and welcome back to Chatting Breeze. So, in today's news, no, today's vlog basically is something I've touched upon in a previous vlog, which is what happens when this. I say this, i.e. creating your own company, starting your own brand, starting your own fashion label, whatever it is, isn't the only thing that you are doing. This is your passion project. This is your side piece. This is your side hustle. This is whatever you want to call it. However, this is not what is paying your bills right now. This is something which is hopefully gonna pay your bills later. It's an investment into your future but it isn't paying the bills right now. You also have a full-time job, Monday to Friday potentially, maybe work weekends, whatever it is, that requires your time, your effort, your dedication and everything else. You have a boss, you have, whether it's targets you need to hit, whatever that is, how you keep going. Oh, guys, I do wish that there was an easy answer for this. But all I can say is sometimes it is a struggle. So look, when you first get started and you're first on your mission and you're first, you know, creating whatever it is that you, you want to get set up, you have all the enthusiasm, all the passion, all the drive, all the ambition, everything that keeps you going and pushes you through and makes you work those evenings after you've logged off from your like nine to five job <sighs> makes you want to you know knuckle down at the weekends uh, when other people are doing things or you you know you're might have gone out and then everyone else is chilling or you decide to leave early because you've got to carry on you know and you've got to get something done that's all fine and dandy because it's like, okay, I know I'm making these sacrifices for a reason. I'm going to fight get the benefit. But when you've been slogging and I'm talking about, you know, it's a year down the line and you're still slogging and you have your nine to five job and you have pressure in that job as well. Like no job comes without pressure and hard work. So you might be in a position that, you know, you, you have pressures and you're sitting there, you're thinking, oh my God, my brain is gonna explode already. And you know, it's not like you, you might be able to tell your boss unless you've got a very considerate boss or you have a great relationship with them and they'd be supportive of it. Most people don't have that situation or don't even wanna risk putting it out there to their boss that they're doing something on the side just in case there is a repercussion for it. So I think we keep it to ourselves. Um, and that means that then when it comes to doing your own thing and your own project like you get so run down like it is so easy to want to almost like give up because this is paying your bills you can't give up on this yet because this isn't paying you anything so out of the two which one are you going to choose to maybe push to the wayside or not bother with for a little while or you know all those kind of things and and it's and it's a true story like i love and we need people who are on social media who are motivating us like i can't you know i tap into that all the time when i am feeling like at those points i'm just like oh like i can't like i've just got so much on my plate right now i don't know if i can carry on you know, I listen to the motivational stuff and I go, no, carry on. Like, you know that you've got this, like you can do this. But I just wanna give some kind of helpful, hopefully, uh, tips which will just keep, keep you going, i.e. organization. <sighs> organization is key. If you are not an organized person, I'll tell you what, start to learn how to get organized. Because if you cannot manage your time, you are going to struggle. If you're someone who leaves everything lastminute.com, you are gonna struggle. The reason why is because you're gonna be pulling like all nighters, so to speak, and you are not gonna be getting any sleep. And I don't care what anyone says like, 
ah, oh, sleep for losers, or you know, if you really want something, don't sleep, only get a couple of hours in. I'm sorry, in the real world, that does not work. You can do that for a set amount of time, maybe if you have a deadline to one thing, but when you're juggling something consistently, you cannot function, or very little people can function off such little sleep, off of two, three hours sleep. And I know, before anyone hates me, there are mothers who do it, fathers who do it, you know, who, anyone who looks after children, like, you're able to function off of very little sleep totally appreciate that but I'm just saying when something is requiring full brain capacity is in your full-time job and then your side hustle that's very difficult you can't just go into auto like you can't just go into okay like autopilot is and just go through the motions because there are just so many things that come up that you need to be able to think about you need to be able to logically be able to break things down and it's scientifically proven you cannot do that you cannot um apply your your mind to something if you're tired so you have to be able to schedule in times if you know you have a nine to five job and you're not an early riser, it's important for you to be able to get that sleep in beforehand, then guess what? You've got to get that time allocated to the side hustle. Five o'clock comes, you log off, and then you go, okay, I now have three hours worth of time that I can allocate to this. And in that three hours, break that down. What is it that you need to accomplish in that day? What is it that you need to have got done? So maybe write yourself five things that you need to get done in that day. And then if you get three of those done, kudos to you. So five would be like your, I am going to tap myself on the back. I'm going to give myself a hug. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to treat myself to some ice cream at the end because I managed to get five done. Three is like, I know I've been productive today. I know this time has meant that I've been productive. I just find that if I have ever tried to just log off from one and kick into another and not have a bit of a strategy as to what it is that I need to do, what am I focusing on? It's very difficult to then, like you, you're changing your hats, aren't you? And you're going from one way of thinking to another way of thinking and what you have to do. Potentially they could be completely different as well, like totally different industries, totally different things that you're doing. So you need to be able to go, okay, what is it that I need to require of myself today to be able to reach my target? Because you've got to think, you add that into a, you add that up for a week, for instance. So I'm not saying to do this seven days a week. Maybe you know you, you need to give yourself some time off. Like we have a Saturday and Sunday off from work to kind of regroup and uh, rejuvenate ourselves. You know, do that for yourself, even on your side project. Um, unless, as I said, there's deadlines and stuff and it is going to be a seven day week that you need to just push, push, push for. But otherwise, you need to be able to schedule in your time, schedule in that you know what you're doing within that time. Otherwise, it just could be a waste. There is no point fluffing around for three hours and actually not having got anything done. If there's emails that need to be sent out, send the emails out. If there's... Um, you know, things that you need to try on or prototypes or whatever it is that you need to get back to people on and that's when you need to get it all done. And as I said, I mean, I think that is great to have um, all these people who can inspire us and that's fantastic and it's needed. But you also, I feel like sometimes it's rose tinted glasses for some people or it's a distant memory for others that they think oh that was like eight years ago I had a full-time job whilst I was doing this you know and they kind of skirt over it but they don't really go into sometimes like the struggles of it and sometimes you can feel because it can be quite an isolating thing to do or to start something and create something on your own because of that, you can sometimes feel like you're on your own. You can sometimes feel like, oh, am I the only one who's struggling here? Am I the only one who's struggling managing my full-time job and still carrying this on and getting the gumption and getting the ability to 
and the energy to keep pushing forward on this. And like I said, at those beginning stages, we're all full of the joys of spring and have a springing our step. But it can come to the point, you know, as I rightly, well, as I said, a year down the line, two years down the line, that you start to think, oh, this is a slog. Like this is this is work, and it's sacrifice. So I just want you guys to know that. If you are feeling that, you are not alone. Sometimes I have to give myself a break. Now, remember that as well. I do something that you enjoy. Give yourself the five minutes. Maybe you don't want to log off from one job onto another. Maybe you need to give yourself half an hour, an hour to be able to just decompress from, from one situation to be able to go into the next with a clear mind. And that is absolutely fine. Whatever works for you. Everyone is individual and everyone works differently and everyone works best at different hours, all that kind of good stuff. So you know yourself the best and you know how you're going to get the best out of yourself. So just though bear that in mind and bear in mind that you aren't alone when you are feeling that struggle and you're feeling that kind of I don't know how I can do this. I'm I'm struggling to juggle everything we all go there but you can and you can push through it and you can keep on going the other day i properly had a bit of a breakdown i'm not gonna lie like i properly just was like ah, oh, i have so much to do and my list is so long and work was so incredibly crazy that i just and my brain almost had had enough. It was just like, I'm done. I, I can't. I have nothing left to give you. And on that day, I just took a break. I didn't do anything on my side project. I had an early night. I got make sure I got my sleep in and stuff. And the next day, I felt so much better. For someone else, it might be a case of going for a run and clearing your head or something else. What whatever works for you. But just know that the hustle and the struggle is real. It's a real grind. Like it's great to hear the success stories. And yes, we hear about someone working hard and da 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 da. da, da. But I always find it's different when you're speaking to somebody who is actually going through it at the same time as you. Like that's where you're like, oh, you get me. Like you actually understand right now in this moment what I am going through. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you... I mean, it might seem simple as in just to be organize schedule yourself in i mean there is no quick fix that i can't wave my magic wand i wish i could to be able to give you the magic fix as to how to do everything but all i can say is genuinely if you're not someone who schedules yourself in for things and you don't um pre-plan your you know your days and your weeks and stuff like that give that a go because it really 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 is helpful and just listen to yourself as well if you do need a break have a bit of a break there's nothing wrong with that the world is not going to collapse or your business is not going to collapse because you've had a bit of a break um but then get back on that saddle when you've when you found your mojo again listen to some music listen to an inspirational speaker whatever it is that you need to do but yeah just plan 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 that is the utmost kind of important thing to do. So you're not wasting any time that you already have little of and you're being the most productive with that time. There's no point, as I said, staring at your computer screen for three hours and looking like you've done some work when there has been actually nothing that's been done. <laughs> um, within that time, you might as well sacked it off and just had that day off because it would have been better to come back the next day more fresh and and ready to work and have your head in the game. Guys, if this sounds familiar, if this sounds like something that you have also gone through, pop a comment below. Let's help each other out. Let's share our experiences with one another so we feel like we're not the only ones in this situation riding this alone. And if you need a good jeer up, let me know. 
write a comment you know message me whatever or however you want to get in contact and i'm here to cheer you up as well i want to be your biggest cheerleader so anyway i hope this has been helpful and i will speak to you next week bye